Okay, good Sunday morning everybody. Apologies for the lag time on here. Not exactly why this is happening, but we'll have to ask our engineering staff and find out more about what's going on. Down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This is a live update of our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never joined us before, information about the current conditions in this bar here, 76 degrees, 10% chance of a shower or thunderstorm popping up in the area for today, 91% humidity as we're 91 degrees high humidity values for today so heat index numbers will be way up to around 100 degrees or so and forecast for tonight down here in about the lower 70s with mostly clear skies into later on this evening got any questions about the forecast drop it into the comments section we would love to know where you're from and what the weather's like where you're at so be glad to drop those along and let everybody know what's happening and please don't forget to share our netcast around so everybody can see a little bit more about what's going on directly here in the Mid-South. We cover the areas of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas, and right around the Shelby County, Memphis metro area as well. So stay tuned for more. We'll have updates on your complete forecast here in the Mid-South coming up in just a little bit. Sunshine and plenty of it at Rhodes College in Memphis. A few clouds in and around portions of the view screen here on the Weather Underground system but otherwise not seeing again a lot of major concerns just yet so fairly calm and quiet across much of the area so far this morning and going to continue to see that throughout the rest of the day. Road, uh, from Rhodes College in Memphis to Ole Miss at the University of Mississippi, Crosby Hall construction, sunshine galore, not too many people out and about and the student union continuing again that renovation hopefully done before the beginning of semester. Sunshine around Germantown, Tennessee looking back toward the towers of East Memphis and temperatures this morning back into around the mid 70s as we take a look around the area just east of Memphis and into and around portions of the rest of Shelby County so fairly quiet at about 736 on Sunday morning rest of the next few hours temperatures rising into the high 70s to the lower 80s by the time we hit news channel 3 uh, the end of news channel 3 daybreak through CBS News Sunday morning and into the rest of our programming throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon that's where we start to see a possibility of a few more stray showers and thunderstorms coming on through but minimal chances for the next several hours. Popcorn type thunderstorms will be our best bet as we get into the rest of Sunday afternoon. Less of a chance than what we saw yesterday, but randomly scattered across much of the area as we get into early to mid-afternoon as the daytime heating begins to make things a little bit hotter across much of the area. So we're getting a bit of a lag time here, so stick around. We'll get more uh, here as our computer begins to catch up with all the data. We've got, again, some warm conditions in the Mid-South this morning. We're already, as you can see, back into around the mid-70s with winds light out of the northeast. Now, through late this morning, the computer models are starting to show uh, the possibility of a few stray showers and maybe some thunderstorms popping up across portions of the area in and around West Tennessee and northern Mississippi. That activity will continue throughout the rest of the early afternoon and quite possibly into around dinner time tonight. Peak heating time of the day, upper 80s to around lower 90s. Relatively typical, maybe just a degree or two below where we should be for this time of the year. Heading into the rest of the evening tonight, again, numbers back in the mid to upper 80s with tons of humidity out there. And through News Channel 3 at 10, heading to around News Channel 3 daybreak with Todd Demers bright and early on Monday morning. Temperatures will be back in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s and continuing again to see those very warm numbers throughout the rest of Monday. Mid-morning, late morning temperatures already in the mid to upper 80s and then through the rest of the day we will see that isolated very small chance of a shower or thunderstorm coming on through. It doesn't again look like much and most of that should be confined to northeast Mississippi so that's going to be about the main thing we're going to be looking for into tomorrow. Now through tomorrow night stray showers and thunderstorms linger but then those will be dwindling and going away from the mid south out there is so not a lot to worry about there the rest of the forecast let's run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on lower 90s through today with warm and humid conditions showers and thunderstorms most numerous such as it is around the area of lunchtime through about dinner time tonight heading into monday temperatures a little bit higher chances of showers and thunderstorms a little bit lower but still possible and then as we go into tuesday we're pretty much done with anything involving rain or thunderstorms maybe an isolated thunderstorm popping up but it doesn't look like that much happening on Tuesday. What it does look like is happening is plenty of heat and humidity. Numbers will be back 
into the mid 90s now that doesn't exactly sound like blazingly hot uh, amazingly hot temperatures like they see over in the Middle East like about 110 120 at this time of the year take these numbers right here the mid 90s and add the humidity to that you get the feels like heat index and that's where we're going to be seeing again the potential for heat index numbers above 105 degrees that's the point where the National Weather Service starts to issue heat advisories and that means if you're going to be working or exercising outdoors for long periods of time especially during the hottest parts of the day it's going to be miserable and it could be dangerous if you push yourself too hard something to think about and if you're working or exercising outdoors during the hottest portions of these days keep an eye on yourself keep an eye on those working or exercising around you for the signs of heat injuries know what to look for know when your body is saying that's it I need a break you cannot push yourself that much harder if you keep doing that you could run the risk of death if you decide to push yourself that hard in conditions like this so please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors in the next several days that includes things like daycare facilities uh, summer school thing like that going on outdoors long periods of time outdoors no air conditioning that can really sap your strength at this time of the year so this is going to be just as important as severe weather keeping an eye on how your body's doing, watching out for those people around you, and keeping an eye on what's happening where it comes to your own internal body temperature. Again, we are live. Apologies for the lag time. We are live on Twitter and uh, Periscope for this morning. We're going to be getting to the tropical update here in just a second as soon as the computer catches up. We've got a couple of systems out into the Pacific and one over the Atlantic. It's going to be, again, something to watch if you're heading towards, say, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. What's left of Eugene is basically gone. There's not much left of that. And Fernanda is a Category for a hurricane moving its way out into the central parts of the Pacific. That's the one on the left-hand side here. We've got a new area of investigation, Invest 97E. That's something the National Hurricane Center will be watching carefully. Now into the Atlantic, just between South America and Africa, we've got a new system developing. It doesn't look like much right now, but it does show the possibility of maybe developing into something else later on. The disturbance is again just that, a disturbance could be developing to something 20% chance in the next two days, 40% chance increasing chances of development into around the next five days. Now what does that mean for the Mid-South? Not much of anything. This is still thousands of miles away. But if you are traveling to the East Coast, Florida, or the Gulf Coast states, this is the time of the year to pay attention as to where these storms go, how strong they get, because you don't want to be heading into an area that you're just going to have to turn right back around and head out of. So something to think about if you're going to be doing anything there. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out across the area on social media. We love passing these things along, and thank you for sending them for much of the area. Uh, this looks like we've got, again, the possibility. It looks like the uh, wrong graphic here, so we're having a little bit more problems, but if you've got tweets or anything you would like to send to us, aonic underscore WREG3, we pass them along as often as we possibly can. And have to get this computer with a sledgehammer one of these days. Get the weather app, if whatever platform you've got, search WREG weather and find out more about what's going on in the Mid-South by getting our News Channel 3 weather app. Don't forget to tune in to the entire forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 We'll have more details coming up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. I'll be on with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on Talkback Live. That's on AM 730, also available on the Internet Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock in the morning. Great opportunity for sports chat in the Mid-South and also looking again around the area for social media. Catch me on all these locations out there. Usually I'm just about any place across much of the area. I have to get back out on set because we'll be finishing up Daybreak coming up here in just a little while. Well, questions, concerns, ideas, comments, we'd love to hear from you. So please let us know what exactly you'd like to see around the Mid-South area where it comes to weather. Drop the comments into the email, austin.onic at wrag.com, and we'd love to hear more from you as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.